Hello, my name is Russ Mickelson, Director of Bands at The Ohio State University. Here to talk today about John Barnes' chants and the variations on a Korean folk song. John Barnes' chants lived from 1932 to 1972, dying at the age of 39 in a tragic electrocution accident. The Variations on a Korean Folk Song was written in 1965, and John Barnes' chant says the following. I first became acquainted with the folk song known as Adi Dong while serving in Seoul, South Korea as a member of the 8th United States Army Band in 1958-1959. The piece is dedicated to his wife, Linda. The form and structure of this piece is that there is a theme and five variations. The piece uses no key signatures and that uh, is actually quite an important uh, item in this score as will become evident as we move on. The theme, Adi Dong, is based on a pentatonic melody. The pentatonic scale consists of scale degrees 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6 of the major scale. Uh, Adi Dong itself, presented in the clarinets at the very opening of this piece, begins on the fifth scale degree and moves five, six, five, one, two, one, two, three. So even though E flat is the first note presented, the actual pentatonic uh, root is A flat. So this is based on the A flat pentatonic scale at the beginning. At measure 17, the root A flat becomes the fifth of the D flat pentatonic scale as the composer sets the tune in the D flat pentatonic key through the rest of the theme. Variation 1 begins in pentatonic G flat and uses both a two part canon and three part canon throughout. Variation 2, the larghetto variation. The theme is presented twice in exact intervallic inversion. In other words, when the pentatonic melody from the opening goes up by step, this one goes down by step. And it's exactly the same intervals throughout, inverted. Uh, the piece, be the movement, sorry, the variation begins by harmonizing, using the harmonies alternating A flat minor 7, E flat minor 7, the uh, inverted melody then continues uh, a couple of times. And then at measure 108, it's presented back in its original form by the trumpet solo using the key of C flat pentatonic. Variation 3, the Allegro con brio, goes to B flat pentatonic and then moves through a number of pentatonic shifts. Uh, measure 140 in G flat, measure 147 in D. Measure 150, back to B-flat pentatonic. Measure 166, the G-flat pentatonic. And then in 168, a whole tone scale descending to a G-flat pedal. Variation 4, the 3-2 sostenuto begins in the key of B pentatonic with a G-flat pedal in the timpani throughout the variation. This variation ends with an F7 chord which leads uh, in variation 5 to a B flat pentatonic. Uh, variation 5 consists of a three bar canon, in other words every three measures a new instrument enters creating a kind of layered canon or ostinato. When the melody finally comes in uh, it is in B flat pentatonic and then at measure 223 uh, it is presented in augmentation in the brass and the piece ends in B flat.